My name is Gaurav Sait. I am a program manager lead uh, working on JavaScript product and tools at Microsoft. That group essentially owns a lot of JavaScript technologies like Chakra, TypeScript, Azure or Node.js, a bunch of JavaScript developer experiences that ship with Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. The way I'm involved with the Node.js Foundation is I'm actually representing Microsoft as a board of director in the Node.js Foundation. There are three big ways in which Microsoft benefits from being involved in the Node community and especially with the Node Foundation. I think Node Foundation gives us a great platform to understand the community, that's number one. Number two is to work with the community. And number three is really to contribute back to the community. You know, one could think about, hey, we could actually do all of this work sitting outside of the foundation and outside of the community. But the problem that comes in those scenarios is you are not really talking to real people and you, know, you often tend to overlook the real problems that folks might be encountering. So you know, being a part of the foundation, being a part of the project really helps us do those three. Understand, work, and then give back. Because to me, I think personally, I think the giving back aspect of being in a community is the most important thing. And Node Foundation provides a great platform for that. Microsoft's involvement with the Node community, with the developers, is beneficial in many ways. You know, when we go and talk to our customers, you know, people who are really trying to advance their applications to be ready for the cloud native era, you know, when they're trying to adopt these new paradigms, they're essentially the feedback that we hear from them is threefold. You know, many of them come and talk to us about the requirements from a cloud infrastructure perspective, like, you know, what are their requirements? What do they need? Number two, it's all about services. You know, what sort of services are they most interested in consuming? And number three is what sort of developer tools you know, they really need or they really desire. So when we go and talk to the customer base, you know, people who are trying to move to the cloud native application paradigms, you know, as a company, we get to see these things, learn these things, and actually go improve these things. So that's, that's why being involved in the Node community gives us that platform where we can actually go talk to the real customers, to the real end users. We've made Node.js a first-class citizen on Azure. Node is available across all compute models that Azure supports today, starting from functions, whether you want to go pass with app service, whether you want to do containers with Azure Container Service, or whether you want to use a pre-provisioned visual, uh, pre-provisioned VM, you know, where you just say, hey, I just want to go the infrastructure route and I will be provisioning my own VMs. As a team in general, like, you know, this is the place where I'm closest to, we've actually evolved Visual Studio Code, we've evolved TypeScript. You know, some of those things have evolved, some of those products have evolved completely based upon what we've heard as feedback from you know, JavaScript developers who are trying to do enterprise-grade JavaScript, and many of them actually end up using Node. So Node is a very, you know, common part of the conversations that we have. You know, it's a central part of the conversation we often have with our customers. You know, the thing I'm most excited about Node is the ubiquity of Node. It's the growth of Node. When I look at Node, you know, the one thing that immediately clicks to my mind is that it's in the initial stages of its uptake. Right? And when I look at that, I just see, hey, enterprises have just started adopting this technology. There is a long way to go and there is a long way to grow.